So, welcome to Worcester then for the 11th race on day one of this new season. It's a two mile and six furlong maiden chase. It's the Desert Orchid Maiden. And the top one is Cry Right, David Robertson, Boreal Lad, Darren Howells, Dan Silly Yellow, Stu Gray, Fort of Mutilation, Jamie Hopkins, Imperium, Romanium, Schlegito, Johnny Cash, Lyric Hinton, Keys of the Kingdom, Leon Van Rensburg, My Guardian Angel, Obi Wan, Ralph, James Follis, Toad Hall, Graham Clutterbuck, Aerovision, Molly at Surfer, Daz Moyun, Darren Thompson, Goldilocks, Paul Rhodes, Heather Oscar, Doug Warren, Olga Barriosova, Martin Lida, Rapida Guapa, a wish loss, and War Pointer is Alex Cherry. So, a good big field then for this. And away they go. And Imperium Romanium is one of the first to show with those pink colours of Derek Hinton's on Johnny Cash. Also, Pretty close to the lead early on. Aerovision and Ralph are also close up. Uh, so is Fort of Mutilations. They take the first and we've lost one already there. And Cry Right has gone. I think that might be a David Robertson horse. Looking at the colours. But it's Imperium Romanum who's the leader from Johnny Cash in second. Then there's a gap of about three to the remainder as they take the second. And this time they're all safely over to the other side. With Johnny Cash now in the lead on the outside of Imperium Romanum. They're already at the third and we see them over that one pretty safe jumps there and they're all over that one okay as well these fences coming up pretty thick and fast early on at Worcester and it's Imperium Romanium it is just the leader from Johnny Cash Borahill lad has moved into third inside of that one is Aerovision and Kings of the Keys of the Kingdom Fort of Mutilation is next and then Ralph with Daz Moyon after that one and then War Pointer and Dan Silly Yellow Rapid Guapa is also in mid division with the yellow colours of My Guardian Angel just widest on the track and Goldilocks is just about the back marker at this early stage. They've still got well over two miles to the race then and plenty of jumping still to be done and Imperium Romanum is just the leader from Johnny Cash in second, Borough Hill Lad in third. If that one's anywhere near as good as the real Borough Hill Lad, he'll win this by a fortnight. So they take the fifth then and a good jump by Borough Hill Lad up into second but Imperium Romanum continues to lead. Johnny Cash has just slipped back into third as they take the sixth. Well, he jumped that one really well and goes upsides Borough Hill Lad again. His horses all jumping nicely at this point in the race with the exception of Cry Right who departed at the first. So they're now over the seventh with Heather Oscar now just the back marker. And fence number eight is next then. And over that one they all go. And they're all still travelling nicely. Those that remain with Imperium a Romanum just the leader. Borough Hill lad is going well in second. Johnny Cash is third. Then a big gap to Keys of the Kingdom in fourth and another little gap to Aerovision as they come past the post for the next time. They've got a complete circuit still to go. That's a mile and a half and Imperium Romanum, Borough Hill lad and Johnny Cash are clear of Keys of the Kingdom. Then comes Aerovision and Fort of Mutilation. Daz Moyon is after that one. Then Ralph and uh, Dan Silly Yellow, My Guardian Angel and Toad Hall. Then War Pointer, Olga Barriosova and Goldilocks. Then Rapida Guapa and a little bit detached from the remainder there is Heather Oscar who has the loose horse cry right for company. So racing away then over this little pathway and down towards the next fence. And Borough Hill that has taken the lead oh, right down on his nose there in second place was um, Imperial Remainer. There's a fall at the back as well. Daz Moyun was the second one to depart the race. And they're getting quite well strung out now, these. And Borough Hill Lad comes to this big ditch in the lead. Good jump by Imperial Romanium in second. In third place then is Johnny Cash. And Keys of the Kingdom is after that one with Aerovision next. And then Ralph and then Toad Hall with Heather Oscar still the back marker as they take the 11th. And over that one it was Borough Hill Lad who's the leader from Imperial Romanium in second. Then comes Johnny Cash third and Keys of the Kingdom 4, Aerovision is 5 these are pretty much clear of the rest who are headed by Fort of Mutilation as they take that next one and Borough Hill Lad leads by about 2 lengths to Imperium Romano in 2nd then Johnny Cash is 3rd, Aerovision 4, Keys of the Kingdom 5, Ralph trying to get into it then comes Fort of Mutilation it's probably between these now I think as the rest are all looking a little bit detached although Olga Boriosova is trying to run on so too is Goldilocks and Dan Silly Yellow but it's Imperium Romano who's now going back into the lead from Borough Hill Lad in second. Aerovision is third. Then comes Ralph and Keys of the Kingdom. Johnny Cash, Fort of Mutilation. Olga Barriosova and Toad Hall are next. Goldilocks is getting closer.
closer, but it's Imperium Romania who's a length clear of Borough Hill that in second. Gap of about two lengths then to Ralph who's moved through to third. Aerovision is fourth. Kings of the Kingdom is five and then Johnny Cash is sixth. Goldilocks is running on over the next one they go. That was the 14th. They've just got three. One goes to four at the back there. That's Dancing the Yellow's gone. So Dancing the Yellow out of the race. They come to the third from home. And it's Imperium Romanium from Aerovision in second. Aerovision throwing down a big challenge now. Ralph's moved into third. Then comes Kings of the Kingdom. Borough Hill lads beaten as they take the second from home. Mistake there by Imperium Romanium. And that's let Aerovision get clear. Aerovision's three clear up the final fence. Aerovision's over it in the lead. Here comes Goldilocks in second. Come from nowhere. Imperium Romanium stick out in third place. Aerovision in the lead. Goldilocks is wearing him down. It's Aerovision in the lead. Goldilocks is closing with every stride. Aerovision needs the post. Aerovision in the lead. Here comes Goldilocks on the outside. Aerovision and Goldilocks as they call towards the line. This is going to be a head bobber. It's Aerovision on the near side. Goldilocks on the far side. And that's close on the line. Toad Hall is third. Keys of the Kingdom fourth. Hold the Barry Oscar and ran on to be fifth. And the field will travel back to Heather Mix. And Goldilocks was gaining with every stride. But did she get there? I don't know. It looks close. Looks very close indeed. It says Goldilocks there, but we all know that that doesn't necessarily mean it's one. Let's have a look at the card when it comes up. Aerovision looked to have stolen that one, and it's a short head win for Paul Rhodes and Goldilocks. Aerovision second for Molly at Surfer, Toad Hall third for Grand Clutter, but Keys of the Kingdom fourth for Leon van Rensburg. Imperium Romanium deservedly hung on to fifth for Schlegito. And I think one thing is for sure that the first two there will be winning plenty of races for the rest of the season. Thrilling finish to the Desert Orchid Maiden Chase going to Goldilocks.